I'm going to create a little video showing you how I trace an illustrator. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Um, under file, place your image. I chose this image because uh, I like the colors in it. And uh, if you notice, when I took the picture, I had the iPhone hanging out the car window as I was driving down Highway 52 and not really looking at the screen on the camera, but paying attention to the highway. And so I ended up with a really crooked picture. But um, you can see here I rotated it so that it's about right to draw in. Um, I've been drawing for a while and I keep trying to make little videos but they keep coming out too long and drawn out and boring sounding so let's see if I can do a short simple one. Basically just use the pen tool and say I'm going to draw on this little building here. Draw your shape. Now see how as I'm drawing it it, it does the feel. You may want to oops click that. You may want to do the swap fill color so you only see the outline. That way it doesn't hide where you should go next. Alright, once you draw a shape, then just use your eyedropper tool and fill it in with the color. See, there it goes again. They may want to draw all your shapes in a dark or, or a color that's not being used much in the image that you're drawing and just leave them all black and white at first. And I'll give you an example of a gradient while we're doing this. Now if you notice here I missed this a little bit so go back with your hollow or direct selection tool or press the letter A to get a hold of it and it's actually top of this I know it's a tower and it has a little curve in it so I'm going to use my add anchor point in the middle there and create a point and just bring it up a little bit and then use the convert anchor point right now it's two straight lines I'm going to click on this and then drag and make it curved on the top Press the letter A and get this tool and move this one down a little bit. And now we have a nice shape of the top of a tower. Now I'm going to show you how to create a realistic gradient. So I'm going to draw three, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, maybe three work. You can do more. So these are going to be like little color swatches that I'm going to use to create my gradient. Use the eyedropper tool. I usually like to switch. Select the lightest color. I'll do the letters later. Press the letter V. This. And I press the letter I. Use the eyedropper tool and get this color in here. Press the letter V. Grab this square. Press the letter I and pick one of these darker colors. And these will be the three colors I use to create my gradient for the little RJR smokestack tower. And with the top one selected. I'm going to grab this fill color and pull it down to my gradient bar. Control Z. I'm going to grab another shape and make it a gradient. Now I'm going to go and select this color. And then when I go to select the next shape, it gives me the color here in my color as it even says last color. Click to set. So I'm going to just click and drag it to this gradient slider. And i got too many in there right now. I'm going to redo all those. So I'm going to go back and click this. Click the piece that I'm going to change the color to. Click and drag it down. And for some reason it's not clicking and dragging. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Let's try it from down here, see if we can get it to work. There we go. Now it's coming. There 
right, I'm going to delete the other colors that I had in there. Now I'm going to select my tower. Use the eyedropper tool, press the letter I, select it here. Now what I'm going to do is move this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to slide it down to an area where I see where this gradient moves over at. And I'm going to adjust these little bars on my gradient slider until I get my gradient about matched up the way it is in the photograph. You see the darkness comes over to right about there. I got that redder color right about here. And that looks that looks about right. So all right. Throw that in. I can delete my little color swatches and go back to drawing my BB and T building. Now, if you notice, I selected this piece, and now the next thing that I draw is going to have that same color or stroke feel. So, draw this bottom shape. I'm just going to bring this one up right about here. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and make all, oops, there we go. Grab my direct select tool, or not direct select tool, the selection tool, and choose these colors. I'll pick a different color in there. There we go. I'm going to bring this piece to front. And we'll zoom out and you can see the progress. It has a nice crisp look. You can add different color strokes on these if you want. There's different ways you can do this. Experiment with it. Enjoy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see what I've done so far. I've gotten part of the Wachovia building, the BB&T building, the RJ building, and I don't know the name of that building. I think it's the Marriott or hotel down there. And eventually I'll get them all in.